uh, in the desperate pursuit of net zero, our Labor government is now considering, get this, greenhouse gases emitted by the transport sector when deciding what roads to build. The government's transport and infrastructure net zero roadmap includes a section that warns, I couldn't believe it when I read this, the building of roads could increase the emissions from light and heavy vehicles by enabling this transport mode. It goes on to say this needs to be taken into consideration when deciding what roads to build. So, Caleb, if I've got this right, the Transport Department have figured out that building roads mm. enables cars to travel. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, I didn't know Startling that. Startling insight. I, I know I say this all the time, but there's yet another government contract I think I could uh, probably <laughs> snag pretty easily because I understand roads, can you believe it? But I think there is potentially merit to this, right? Because, of course, if we're going to have population expansion, we will need more roads. You can't just have a train in and out of the new suburb. There has to be a road of some description. And one of the things that contributes to carbon emissions is cars stopping and starting all the time, which means you need a good flow of traffic, which means you don't need roundabouts and you don't need traffic lights. So if they can have no traffic lights and I can drive to work in the morning with no red lights, not only do I get places faster, it's better for the environment. But the other thing, of course, is that if you want a seriously environmentally friendly road in terms of emissions, it's got to go in a straight line. You can't go around hills and past trees. So we've just got to raise all the land because that'll be good for the environment so we can have low emissions roads. I like, I I like, like it. Perfect sense. Peter Dutton could go to the next election, save the environment, create an autobahn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm on board. I'm Absolutely with it. Absolutely amazing. Angela, would they really decide not to build roads so that we have less cars? Oh, look, what are we going to do? Go back and live in caves and burn wood and, well, that obviously has emissions anyway. <laughs> yeah. But there's a problem in your theory, though. You build that big autobahn and then you've got your CO2 emissions, right? What I think we should be putting our energy into is thinking about and really working hard on that technology that looks at how we do manage to pull C, um, CO2 out of the atmosphere. Different ways of doing that. Instead of always looking at what we had before, how we can improve on the old, let's look at the really dynamic, exciting new. Let's put science and tech at the forefront of that. Let's make Australia that, that we are the... And Scott Morrison hinted at this a couple of few years ago. He said, you know, let he, he trusted that we would uh, find the way to solve the emissions mm. problem. So if we're constantly looking, yeah, look, there are great ways to make better roads, better aggregates, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm really pro-tech. I'm pro-tech as well, as long as I can still drive my Ford Mustang, <laughs> which I don't actually have, but uh, Caleb think, says my I birthday's coming up that. soon and I'll get one. Oh, hang the, on. the White House has come out in defence of Joe Biden, insisting the President's multiple gaffes and blunders are fake news. It tells you everything that we need to know about how um, how desperate how desperate Republicans are here. Uh, and uh, instead of talking about the president's performance in office, and what I mean by that is his legislative wins, what he's been able to do for the American people across the country, we're seeing these deep fakes, uh, these manipulated videos. Well, I suppose if anyone is an expert on fake news, it's the Biden White House. But if Biden's blunders are all fake news. Gee, there's been a lot of fake news recently. I'll never forget where I won't go to that. Anyway, I, I, I just think that uh, Florida Small Business Winner Award winner of the Caleb, it's all just fake news. Fake but, of course, they do say uh, denial is the first stage of grief. Is that what's happening yeah, well, to uh, the mainstream media in the States? It's not just a river in Egypt, is it? And uh, it's amazing to see the Biden camp now adopting the, um, the, the term fake news because, of course, fake news was popularised mm. by Donald Trump. And, and at the time, all the, the Democrats and all the anti-Trumpers were like, oh, you know, when he says fake news, that really just means news he doesn't like. So why don't we just turn that back on the Democrats and say, well, if you you're saying this is fake news, let's live by your standards. It must just be news you don't like, because we can all see that Biden ain't all there. I'm trying to claim that's fake news. Well, the irony is that the White House spokesperson was saying that these videos are deep fakes. Well, 
that's fake news because they're actual <laughs> real. real videos. Angela, the uh, Democrats surely are desperate. If that's the best they've got, that oh, uh, that's... these videos have all been edited to show Biden as senile when really he's fighting fit and ready to go. And I look, in same as within Normandy, those those uh, images from oh, Normandy, mm. I, just, I think they're really shocking. Look, I think it's really interesting. The debate, the first debate is next Thursday. That's a 90-minute debate. There's no props. There's no notes. Um, I'm really interested to see how he goes there. There's a long time, obviously, between the end of June and November. I think the Democrats have made that early so they're going to actually have a think about whether he is fit for, for presidency. You know what they yeah. do have, Angela? What? Drugs. Drugs. <laughs> and they will find but everyone they, they can. Aren't they mostly sedatives? I can't... If, if there was a, well, that, if there was a good do drug, not give I'd be Joe taking Biden it. A <laughs> That's the last thing Joe Biden needs.